Hi everybody, Nicole here again. Just um, a quick check-in before the 4th of July weekend to talk to you about the market, uh, specifically in Southern Maine. So I particularly look at the market in Berwick, South Berwick and North Berwick. And so that's what I'm gonna talk about right now. We have, I think there was four new listings that just came on, um, mostly in South Berwick. And then we have uh, seven closings that just happened over the last couple of days. So that's really good. Stuff is closing. Things are being listed. It's still, you know, the inventory is still lagging here and prices are still going up, but at least we're seeing some movement in the market. The jobs report just came out this morning and unemployment is still down. The stock market is doing really well. Uh, if you're in it, then you know that. And um, so everything is really looking good still. We don't have any real indication. I don't know what is going on with my hair, seriously. Um, we, we don't have any real indication that things are going to tank anytime soon. So that's a great. Um, that's just a great thing. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about a closing I just had. We closed 363 Main Street in South Berwick and that is a property that I actually sold to, um, I was the listing agent when I originally sold, I was the buyer's agent for the buyer that bought it and then I was the listing agent again to sell it and I happen to also own the property next door to it which is nice and convenient. We listed, we talked about listing it right before the COVID stuff started. And at that point, I thought 275 was a pretty high price. I was on the higher end, but that was the price we were going to go with. COVID started, we decided to continue to list it. And um, so we listed it at 275. We got six offers immediately, and the offers went all the way up to $315,000. Now, we sold it for 286, and my client did not accept that offer for the, the highest price. And there's a good reason for that. So one of the things that we really have to keep in mind with these prices that are going up is appraisals. The property, unless you have a buyer that has a lot of cash on hand, the property has to appraise for what you're selling it for. And I uh, see that that's kind of a problem that people are running into. Appraisals are lagging a little bit because the appraisers have to justify the value of the purchase price. So. An appraiser looks back at the last six months worth of sales. It's six months of similar properties. So if you have a cape, it has to be a cape that we appraise it against. If it's, uh, you know, if the property is in South Berwick, it should be appraised against a property that's also sold recently in South Berwick. These are things that we keep in mind when we're pricing properties. And these are things that I counsel my clients on because although, yeah, you can put the property under agreement for $315,000, if the property doesn't appraise, which it did not, then you're not gonna sell it for that unless your buyer happens to have $50,000 extra cash just laying around that they're gonna throw into their, um, into, into the value of the home. And then what buyer in this market wants to get into negative equity? They, you know, it's just, it doesn't make sense. If the property doesn't appraise, you know, you're, you're not gonna sell it for that. So, um, so that was the moral of that story is the property wound up selling for 286, which is, $11,000 more than what I thought the higher price was of, uh, of 275 before, and that was before COVID started. So the COVID-19 pandemic seems to be still increasing purchase prices. Sorry, my computer's freezing up. Um, it seems to be increasing, um, you know, the buyers, uh, the buyers are very motivated and decreasing the days on market. And we're still seeing that and everything that I'm looking at for indicators looks like it's going to continue. We don't see uh, anything glaring that says that this is gonna stop anytime soon. So it's still a good time to sell. Um, you know, if you're, if you're in the market to buy, it's a, tough, it's a tough market right now. We do have rentals available. So if you wanna sell and capitalize on this market, but uh, bank your cash, that's, that's definitely an option. I know people don't want to move twice. I certainly don't want to move twice, but it's something that we have to consider to uh, make the most out of this market. Anyway, if you have any questions, please feel free to send me a message. Have a safe and happy 4th of July weekend. I hope I'm not videoing over the weekend because I want to go have some fun. Um, have a great day, everybody. Have a good weekend, and I'll talk to you soon.